Hey everyone, it's Dilzy, and I'm here to do one of those videos I've been promising to do since June, which is a show-and-tell Living Dead doll vlog. Yay! Finally, right? I am sick today. I've got either a cold or my allergies are bad. Regardless, I've been sneezing constantly. My nose is chapped and raw, and I'm... Ugh. I thought taking a shower would help. It did a little bit. At least I'm clean. Not that I was dirty, but you know, sometimes you just need to shower. And here I go fixing my bangs again, my bangs. So, on to the dolls. I said I bought a few of Series 29, and this is one of the three that I purchased. So I'm going to go with, oh, I don't want to say my least favorite because I love them all. But I guess I'll have to say that. I'll read you the chipboard poem first, okay? Because I know you're like, what doll is it? What doll? So, series 29, the nameless one series. I got the silent one. The silent one dances to a song that no one can hear. For the sound she moves to is the melody of fear. So that is the doll I'm going to show you guys. I just realized, you know, she didn't come with any extras. Hmm. I didn't notice that until right now. So what I'll do my usual from behind first, top to bottom, and then I'll flip her around and you can see her pretty face. So this is the silent one. She is a little ballerina. She's got blonde hair and a bun, very pretty bun. And then she's got her little dress, which is crispy feeling. I don't know what material it is. It's a crispy feeling material. And then she's got fishnets, which are white, white tights. I noticed um, the other doll I have, Kill Baby, that is another one that has fishnets, and hers are very loose on her. Oh, actually, I have more than one with fishnets. But yeah, my Kill Baby, her fishnets are horribly loose, so I have to use an elastic. This one, they're kind of loose, but not super bad, as you can see. And then she's got little ballet slippers, see? Which are dirty on the bottom. And they're meant to be that way because I keep my dolls in their coffins. So, white panties. Panties, I know. My man doesn't like when I say that word, panties. Some people don't like that word. So, let's spin her around, shall we? And we'll do from the bottom to top. So there's her shoes again. I like uh, they are tied around like ballet shoes because they are ballet slippers. And there's the dress, and it's all dirty. And oh, there's blood now. And she's very white, as you can see. She's got white skin. Yeah, there's blood dripping all down the front of her dress. And now we're gonna get to the beautiful face. Look at that blood all around her mouth. And there are those eyes. And she's also got things coming up on her head there, like bruises and bumps. And my favorite part about her is her cute little curls in front. And as you can see again, that's the front of her little veil. And yeah, so that is the silent one. I better be careful. I don't want her arm to pop off. Oh, look, she can stand all right on her own. So now I'm going to read the death certificate for her. You know the drill. That's the death certificate. Doo -doo -doo. So, the silent one. Okay. A fine young dancer with a hidden yet fatal disease. She moved across the stage until her heart did cease. She forever haunts the living dancing to a silent song. If you see her dance, your own heartbeat won't last long. And she died December 13th, 1889. So yeah, let's do a full sh full length shot now so you can see. So yes, I wouldn't mind getting the last two of the series, but I've only got the first three. I bought them all when I bought Hazel and Hattie. And since I, I saw Hazel and Hattie there, I had to get them. And that pushed me over the price limit of what I even wanted to spend, but it was all worth it. So yeah, as you can see, I've slowed down with my doll buying, 
but it's still in me. I have season 30, I mean, sorry, season, yeah, series 30 pre-ordered, but I'm already debating if I should just cancel it, which I always tend to do is like, should I cancel it or should I keep it? I don't know. Not because I don't love the dolls anymore, but I've been out of space for a long time now, and I had a feeling this would happen when I got my Grail doll that the fever for collecting the dolls would simmer. So I'm still liking when I get them as gifts or when I see ones that I really like. If I happen to pawn them and they're ones I don't have already, I will buy them. But yeah, so which doll is your favorite from the series, by the way? Oh, I just noticed something else. I don't know if this is meant to be this way, but if you could see her arm has got like bumps or something on one arm. But yeah, she's very pretty. I love the bumps on her face. Let's look at her again real close. So yeah, she's my third favorite of the three I bought. Um, the second one I'll be doing the review on will be a difficult one because of the outfit. But I'll try and make it work. So yeah, sorry you guys had to wait so long. But at least I've had my other videos in the meantime for those of you that actually care about the rest of the stuff. Those of you that are only into my doll vlogs... That's fine, too. Thank you for watching them. I do appreciate you guys being fans. But the main thing is, we are all fans of the dolls. Living Dead Dolls for Life, as one of my LDD friends likes to say. Okay, right, G-Bean, you know who you are. Georgia. But yeah, so I'm going to use her saying, Living Dead Dolls for Life. Yay! I'm never going to stop loving these guys. I just run out of room. So I'll talk to you guys soon, and there's two more dolls until I get my other set, which gets released. I don't want to think about the cost, but don't we always? When you buy your own dolls, you got to think about the cost. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you. Don't forget to hit like, please, down below, and subscribe if you haven't yet. That would be wonderful. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day afternoon or evening or day or whatever. Bye.